This is cell phone video from outside the Brower Avenue strip mall yesterday. The video posted on social media is frankly so brutal you can't show all of it. But you can see one teen lying on the ground with his arm broken, according to police, who say he was one of at least seven teens involved in the brawl that left Cassine Morris dead from a stab wound. He loved art, he loved drawing, he loved reading. He loved his skateboard, <laughs> he loved his family. The 16-year-old victim's sister talks about the aftermath of the killing. A large group of teens had just gotten out of nearby Oceanside High School, where Cassine had just transferred. He'd been told someone was looking for him regarding a girl he'd befriended. He thought someone just wanted to fight him and um, over a girl. And he said, you know, I'm, I'm friends with everyone. A lot of others expected fireworks as well. There's got to be about 50, 60, 70 kids here. We have a handful of kids that have come forward that have identified subjects involved in this. There is definitely more. This surveillance video you're looking at is the same that detectives are analyzing as evidence. We have identified several members of this group. And at this time, we're just gathering enough our evidence to the point where we're ready to arrest them. But detectives say they want more videos like the ones being shared on social media. They videoed his death instead of helping him. So anybody that has video or has firsthand information, come forward. You guys took my brother away from me and my family. You took my mom's baby. And you see some flowers have been left here. A vigil is planned here tonight at 7 o'clock. Meanwhile, police also saying anyone who had come out for this brawl expecting to just fight and not have it become fatal, they want to hear from those folks. They think they can provide very valuable information. Otherwise, say detectives, you could end up being arrested for murder.